Hello everyone, this is your Bayview Middle School Librarian, Lourdes Johnson, and I am excited to introduce you to our new electronic database, Gale Research in Context. Gale Research in Context is an electronic resource for middle school students, and it features videos, news articles, magazines, primary sources that will help you doing your homework. The database includes subjects such as literature, science, social studies, and history. The learning goals of this tutorial are, first, teach you how to access the database, and number two, to get familiar with the database interface. You will learn how to limit your search, how to bookmark your search and save it for later, how to don download and print articles, and most important, where to find the citations so you can include them in the bibliography section of your papers. To access the database, you need to go to www.mylibrary.org and enter the word student in the username box and the word library in the password box. So let me give you a walkthrough of the interface and show you what you can do with it. Let's get started. Let's go to the browser, and you can see all these large amounts of topics and categories. You can narrow it down by subject, or you can just, if you know your topic, you can just scroll down. For example, I am interested in Great Depression. So here you'll find all the material available related to the Great Depression. You can see there are 393 reference articles, 128 biographies, 215 images, 31 videos, audio files, magazines, news, primary sources. So if your history teacher asks for primary sources, you know you should search for topic and then go to the primary sources section. If I click on read more, I'm getting into the actual topic. Great Depression is the name of a topic in this section that says UXL Encyclopedia of US History. That's the title of the source. It is coming from an encyclopedia. You can listen instead of reading text. You can increase or decrease the size of a font, this right side, this right sidebar, excuse me, is very helpful because you can narrow down your search and go to a specific section of the article. You can expand to see more topics, more options. So let's say I want to know about the Roosevelt and the New Deal. And it takes you right there. So that makes it faster for you. At the end of the article, you're going to find an important section. It's called the source citation. And it is, it is in MLA style, which is a style that we use in our middle school. So make sure that the topic that you are researching, the article that you're using in your paper, make sure you go into this section. Highlight it, copy paste it into your Word document or your Google Drive, your Google Docs document to add into the bibliography section. You can also email this article to yourself. You can download this article and save it to your Google Doc account, or you can save it as a PDF into your computer the hard disk drive in your computer. You can print. You can save this search, which I recommend, so that will save you a little time. You can save it, and you'll go to the My folder, is the default folder where you will find all your searches. You must be connected to this database in order to access your 
saved searches. Here, you can expand these to see the images associated with the content, which is really neat. And we can look at the related subjects. Then you can customize your topic. You can narrow down more the topic. You can bookmark this article. You can call, it'll turn um, into a URL and you can email it to yourself for later use as well. Here you have more options if you want to use a dictionary, if you want to use, if you want to keep track of your search history, and when you want to access your saved folder to look at the searches that you saved. If you have questions, just stop by at the library and ask for help. I would love to help you. Thank you very much for watching.